Cara, viemos de longe, cara. São de São Paulo, bem? Espírito Olá, Santo, eu e minha família. Lutador no Muay Thai. Aí, aí. <risos> Vamos tirar uma foto bem maneira pra você levar pra tua escola. Uau, uau. Segura minha orelha aí, segura minha orelha. Puxa a orelha, puxa a orelha pra cima. Faz cara de brabo. Eu tô aqui. Que lindo. Mas pode tirar uma foto. Olha tá lá, tem. Ali pra mim é mais difícil ver ele como pai, né? A galera ali vê mais como fã, tipo, ah, Anderson Silva, sou fã, também são preocupados, mas pra mim ali, tipo, tá, é meu pai ali que tá ali, então a gente fica meio, meio recluso. Que meu pai gosta de jogar futebol, porque o sonho dele sempre foi ser polícia, né? Ele joga desde 2001, ele começou a jogar com os amigos dele lá em Curitiba, ele acabou gostando daí. I'm ready for water. January 31. Come on, Commander. Yeah! If Anderson's in town, we try to play at least once a week. He loves to play. He's all into it. Look at all the stuff that we have, all this tactical. He likes this uh, army style. If you, you'll see his guns. They're all like high-end, high-tech. This is how he relaxes. Let's go! Let's go, guys! Let's go! Cara, na verdade, não é um ritual, né? Eu jogo sempre. É um esporte que eu gosto. Se eles entrarem na casa do meio, não tem como a gente pegar. Então a gente tem que pegar isso aqui, ó, pra gente fechar eles assim, ó, fazer uma ferradura. E eles ficam todos no meio, entendeu? Dandã, ferradura o tempo todo! Go. A luta é meu trabalho, eu tô no meu, no, no, na, no meu, meu dia de diversão, então... Eu vou pensar só em luta agora, na segunda-feira, né? Segunda-feira eu começo a pensar em luta de novo. Mas meu final de semana, os dias que eu tenho de folga, eu nem penso em luta. Isso aqui é, é minha diversão, diversão dos meus amigos, que a gente gosta de fazer. E um, um dos esportes que eu, que eu aprendi a amar. Acabou? Acabou. Acabou. Aqui acabou. E aí, tá gostando? Bom, bom demais, cara. É bom, né, cara? Demais. To play with my dad is just awesome, you know. My dad, you know, he, he travels a lot, and just to get to spend this little time with him is, is really good. I get nervous every, every single time he's fighting, doesn't matter if he's winning or losing. It doesn't matter the, the result, he's always going to be the champion in my eyes, and I'm sure for a bunch of other people out there too. I love working out by myself. I feel like it's just an extra workout, putting in a little bit extra time that nobody really even knows about. Like, And I can really focus on exactly what I want to do. Like typically if you're going through a class or if a coach is putting you through practice, you're doing the things that they need you to work on, you know, building the skills that they want. And so I feel like I can come in and work on just, you know, repetitions on exactly what I want to do. You know, it's like free time for me. Some of my favorite training sessions have come from those. Well, my next step is to go pick up my daughter, then she's going to help me pack my clothes, which should, should be interesting, <laughs> what she decides that I can take with me. What do you think I should take to my fight? Um, workout gear. Yeah, we'll take some workout gear. And here. Bella. The dog? Bella me. Bella. <laughs> she knows, like, she's counting down the days that I compete, you know, and she really wants to go to Vegas. I'm waiting before I take my five-year-old to Vegas. <laughs> but I want to go right now. But you're in school, silly girl. You can't miss school. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. It's hard, like, fight week, because, you know, like, you have things that you have to take care of. It's hard having a young kid. Maybe if I go there in the summertime, you can come with me when you're not in school. More often. More often? You can't just be flying to Vegas every time you want to go there. I've had her there before with fight week and stuff, but 
you know, like when you're cutting weight and you're just on lower calories, it's hard. Uh, the things that you normally have patience for, it's a lot harder to have patience. Can you help me find my mouth guard? Help. 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 I'll find it. I'll get it. <gasps> What's that? Found poop. <laughs> Your, Found poop. Her fake poop. <laughs> Two pair. Two pair? Head position. <laughs> A little stinker. <laughs> Quit attacking my fingers with your armpit. So what else should I pack? My poop. <laughs> you know what? I'll bring it to the press conference. Yeah. I will. I'll say, oh no. I'll find that in a couple days and it'll make me smile. Can I borrow your fake poop? I already put it in there. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. Fruit and food. This has to make some fighters really pissed off. This is a benefit of staying ready so you don't have to get ready. Stay on weight so I don't have to lose weight. <laughs> and I can eat through my whole camp. It's much better. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Are you feeling good? Yeah. How about you? Really? It's good. Oh, really? Yeah, night. <laughs> That's awesome. Hello, how's it going? How are you? Good to see you. Did you just get in? Let me come straight here. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm like an international flight, so. Yeah, awesome. Exciting. Bye. See ya. See if Tyrone Woodley's on this game. Tyrone. 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 There's a lot of logistics that go into getting a camp moved from Stockton to Vegas, a lot of moving pieces, so there's some logistics issues that we were just running into today. They're in the air right now, excited to be here, and they should be landing shortly. This is your final boarding call for flight 1181, Cirque du Vegas. Nick Diaz, please board here at gate B20, please. And once again, Nick Diaz, please board this time here at gate B20.